is July and slow Saturday was supposed to be yesterday but yesterday my Saturday was anything but slow so we're having a slow Sunday instead yesterday I presented the healthy hands in crochet workshop in Heidelberg in the um, color spun studio and um, we enjoyed it immensely I love going to Donna's studio oh the yarn the yarn people Temptation, temptation, like you can't believe. I can never walk out there with nothing. It's just impossible. But anyway, um, the Healthy Hands Workshops. Let's talk about that first. We're going to have a Healthy Hands for Crochet Workshop in Pretoria on the third Saturday in August, which would be... Hmm... The 19th of August. We are in July now, eh? Yeah. The 19th of August, we're going to have the Healthy Hands Crochet Workshop in Pretoria. And on the 16th of September, we're going to have the Healthy Hands for Knitting Workshop in Pretoria as well. Um, both of those you can book on the Colorspun website, colorspun.com. Um, under her workshops she handles the bookings for me and um, it's going to be lovely it's going to be fun and it's good social so why don't you join us it's going to be fun okay so um, yesterday in the workshop um, many people have to adapt to a new way of hooking to prevent their hands from suffering while crocheting. Let me just quiet my phone. So um, in the knitting workshop and in the crochet workshop, we take a very, very simple project to work on while you are adapting to the changes that has to be made. Um, and um, so that you don't have to focus on a pattern as well. So this is a shout out to Annika Visa from Crochet in Paternoster. Although I think she's living in Langebaan at the moment, I'm not sure. But um, she came up with this a couple of years ago. She called it a twisty cowl. And um, we made that yesterday in the class. I absolutely love it. And these were odd balls that were there in a basket. So it's basically a cowl that's twisted. It's got a little twist in like that. And you simply put the twist in the front and put a nice lacquer like jacket or uh, coat or something on and pops your uncle so these were odd balls i couldn't resist them and then while the class was going and everybody was practicing i actually finished this one and i thought i might as well make another one i am here now i can choose the yarn you know you know we can justify buying yarn in many ways uh, so anyway, I made a second one yesterday. So my day yesterday was very productive. Yeah. Look how nice this goes with me. Sticks. Ah, I like it. I'm going to wear this one to office this week. One of the two anyway. Okay, so I had a very productive day yesterday. I also had a very productive weekend last weekend. Um, last weekend we had our monthly crochet social, also called Slow Saturday. And... Um, I made a poofy beanie for a ponytail for a friend and it's going to be called the puff tail beanie and um, it's currently being tested so that one will be released soon and I also made another beanie for my friend's partner last week which was the father's day beanie that's on my blog um, I think I did it yeah it was part of the um, crafting with Corona series back in 2020 I posted the Father's Day beanie that's a crochet beanie with no frills it's only single crochet it doesn't flip over my husband doesn't like that he he likes a tight fitting beanie that just covers his ears it mustn't be in the way so that's the Father's Day beanie so last weekend I made two beanies this weekend I made two cows so it's been a good one it has yeah so what am I working on at the moment design wise? Um, I started, do you remember that yellow and grey 
um, color wheel from Colorspun. I started with a double breasted jacket and then I didn't have enough yarn. Oh, planning. But anyway, here it is. It's um, halfway. It needs sleeves and it needs the collar and the double breasted bit. So I got more black. So I will finish this soon. This is in the making. I will get back to that just now in a little while. And then I'm also working on a hose and mats for a new baby in the family. This one is nearly done. Just needs the last little bit on the cuff on this leg. Then this is done. And then I can get back to my cardigan. So yeah, today my slow Sunday is now going to be sitting on my recliner in front of the TV and finishing the hose and mats for the baby. And once that's done, I'll carry on with my double-breasted cardigan. I've put the Cable Me Cozy blanket down for a while. Um, it's winter. I love working with Merino in the winter. And I've got some designs that are, oh, they stand in queue in my head. Do you remember last year I had a pattern, I called it Let's Talk Purple. And it was made with thick air and cotton and mohair. Hell double. And it was a short sleeve, long tunic um, that I wear over my stretch pants, over my leggings. And a lot of people said to me, we want a crocheted version. It's coming. It's in my head. And it's going to be cherry red. Mine. Oh, God, right. That yarn has been with me since last year. I've got yarn for four sweaters that I bought last winter already that I just didn't get to. So, um, hopefully I will get to them soon. And then when the winter is finally over, I think here yeah, by September I'll get going with the Cable Me Cozy Blanket again. Then I'll go back to the cotton knitting. But for now, I'm enjoying working with my favorite, favorite fiber, which is Merino. I just love it. And then this morning, I said to my husband, I want a black hat again. My black hat, I wore it to pieces and it got damaged when we moved and whatever. And I was just looking for a black hat. And... Um, the previous one was, it was a felt hat, but it wasn't genuine felt. It was like acrylic felt or something. I don't know what they call it, but anyway. And I walked into Woolworths this morning, and I kid you not. Look at this. I'm still deciding whether I'm going to cut the brim a little bit shorter. I think I will. I don't like the brim. It's a bit wide. So I'm going to make the brim a bit smaller. But... This is a 100% wool faulted hat for only, what is the price? 500 bucks for a genuine wool felt hat. I am so impressed. So I am I'm probably going to cut about half of the brim off because felt won't fray. It's genuine wool felt and if it's necessary I will do something around the edge. I don't know what yet, but I, I'm so chuffed. 500 bucks for a genuine wool hat. How nice is that? Yeah, so that's what's going on in my wool. Now, let me tell you something else. There's massive changes coming on Patreon. Patreon has... Um, mm, diversified a little bit, if I can say that. Yeah, previously... If you wanted to follow me on Patreon, you had to join a tier. And at the moment, there's only one tier that's still alive, if I can call it that, that still gets new content, and that's the Living the Slow Life tier. And that tier is basically people that are just supporting my designing. They pay me $3 a month to just keep on doing what I'm doing. That I fund that, I use that to fund my yarn and whatever have you. But now, Patreon has brought in a shop function. So I can sell my patterns on Patreon if I want, if I don't want to use Ravelry, which I don't necessarily want to do. I'll post it on both places because Ravelry is, is good for patterns. There's a lot of shoppers there and, and yeah, it works. So why we bother with something that's not broken? So, but that means that I can sell 
um, virtual workshops on Patreon at a once-off fee. And you buy the workshop, once off you pay for it and Bob's your uncle. You don't have to belong to Patreon, you don't have to pay a monthly fee, you can just buy the workshop. And that I am absolutely thrilled about. So there's a lot of workshops of way back when that I want to rework and slowly get going and put on Patreon. And Patreon is now like, um, it's nearly like a social media. I can post something and even if you're not a member, you, you don't subscribe for a monthly tier, you can comment, you can see the post. Um, if there's something that I would only like to give to the paid subscribers, like a free pattern or something, then you will still see the post, but you can, it will say to you, you have to pay for this or whatever. So I'm very, very excited with the prospect of being able to sell virtual workshops on Patreon. Um, I've been nagging at them for a long time saying that we want something that they pay once off for a thing instead of having a monthly subscription and finally somebody listened and I think there's been more people than just me moaning about it around the world and finally that is what we've got so I'm extremely excited about that. So keep an eye on social media when I post the first um, course you will see it. Right. Okay, that's about all the news I have. Um, I'm now going to sit in my recliner and I'm going to enjoy a cup of coffee and a bit of TV and a bit of mindless knitting because knitting a ribbing on that little pants, the whole thing mutts, isn't requiring any brain power. It's just knitting a ribbing. And once that's done, I'm going to pick up my cardigan again and start working on that. I'm very excited about the cardigan. I wonder what I did with the buttons. I don't know where I put them, but I found the most beautiful buttons. Big wooden yellow buttons for this cardigan. I think it's going to look so nice. Okay, so that is... Oh, and I've posted a pattern this week. Did you see the daisies in denim poncho pattern? Uh, it's a crochet pattern and um, I actually designed it I think it was in 2019 already it was published in a magazine and the magazine has since closed and I got permission to publish all the patterns that I designed for the magazine because the copyright is now back with me and I forgot about that I completely forgot about it and last week when we had the slow Saturday, one of my friends walked in with the sponsor and I was like, that looks familiar. And she said, yeah. And then I realized, oh, I still got a poncho pattern that I haven't published. I think actually there's quite a few patterns in that folder that I haven't published. So um, yeah, I will go through there as well and check it all out and see what we can rework and what we can publish. That's quite a bit of fun ahead. I'm always excited to publish a pattern. I think I am totally addicted to the thrill of pushing the publish button. I feel so accomplished when I do it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so that's my news. Keep an eye on social media for news on the virtual workshops through Patreon. Keep an eye on social media for when we release the double-breasted cardigan. Go look for Anneke Wiese, Crochet at Pasternoster. Is it Crochet in Pasternoster or Crochet at Pasternoster? I can't remember. It's one of the two. And I'm sure somewhere in her blogs you will find this little twisty cowl treasure. I think it's brilliant. Very, very nice. And um, yeah, if you're in South Africa, go and look for a wool, wool hat and woolies. 500 bucks. Bargain. I'm going to cut mine a bit smaller. I want to take about half of the brim off. And uh, yeah, so have a blessed and slow Sunday. Enjoy every moment of it. And I'll see you next month on the third Saturday of August. <music>